Today, I'm gonna to show you the craziest GoPro drops in the state of Florida. Oh, check that out. No, he didn't. This is wild. Some of the craziest footage I have ever filmed. We're starting this GoPro drop journey off in the Florida Everglades. If you've ever been to the Florida Everglades, this is on Highway 41. It's kind of a famous highway in the Everglades, full of wildlife, fish, and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm gonna start at this little bridge right up here. Let's get going. So the first thing that we notice once we get down there is an insane amount of gar. Look at all these guys. They're just, ch I didn't even see them from the top of the bridge. They're just chilling under that bridge. So it was crazy. This place is covered with so many different species of fish, and we are going to try to catch them at the end of this video. There, uh, there's a largemouth bass swimming by, some brim. There's no shortage of species in the Florida Everglades. I think the brim thought that this GoPro was food because they kept coming up to it. <laughs> they hungry. Look at that. That is like the freakiest thing ever. There's a gator to the left, just chilling, just swimming underneath the bridge. That's crazy. You can barely see him to the right now. Oh, and there's a peacock bass. That is so cool. That was a nice peacock. And look at those uh, catfish on the bottom. I'm not sure what type of catfish they were. They could be placos. There's lots of warmouth scooting out of there. And look up top left. That's a big gator just chilling. It's amazing how many gators are in these bodies of water that you don't even see or don't even know are there until you drop the GoPro. And look at all these catfish right here. I'm not real sure what type of catfish these are. If anybody knows, comment below. They could be bullheads, but again, I'm not sure. These catfish were everywhere under that bridge. Look at that warm mouth to the left. There he goes. Now this right here is our second bridge that we're dropping on. And we immediately see a lot of little fish. There was tons of warmouth and other panfish here. And then there's a turtle swimming by. And he's got all kind of green algae and stuff on his shell. And look at that uh, placo on the bottom. Those things look so crazy. We're going to see a bunch of those here in a minute.
It was interesting this time in the Everglades seeing a lot more native fish to America than we see exotics. You look at that big warmouth right there. We usually, which is a native fish, we usually see tons of exotics like Mayan cichlids, Oscars, and we did not see a ton of those this time. Look at the size of this gator right, right there. Holy cow. And watch in a minute, you see his teeth up close. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, we saw tons of bluegill, lots of warmouth and other sunfish, stump knockers, stuff. That's a placo, by the way. We did not see many exotics, which is very unusual. Look at how crazy those placo look. It's so weird. <laughs> oh, this is funny right here. The GoPro actually lands on a rock right next to a placo. <laughs> Spot number two is Navarre Beach Fishing Pier. If you've ever been to Navarre Beach, this is the clearest water I've ever seen along the panhandle. Check this out. Amazing looking, just amazing water. We are already seeing some really big fish swimming around these pylons. So I'm gonna start right here in the shallow end and drop this GoPro down. So we started by dropping in the surf zone and I just want you guys to take a minute and check out this water. Now I have been fishing Navarre my entire life. This is maybe the clearest I've ever seen it and it was teeming with marine life. Just check out this photo right there. We've got redfish, spadefish, sand perch. Look at those monster reds just sitting around the pylons. And these guys right here are spade fish. They are super cool. You can catch them with little pieces of cut shrimp, good to eat. And they're very, very curious, as you can see. They come right up to the GoPro. And as you'll see in a minute, what we're seeing right now, I saw all up and down the pier. Just really cool. Every pylon that I would drop on is loaded with marine life right now. The problem is when the water is this clear, it makes it very difficult to catch these fish because they're super leader shy. And if you use super light tackle, then these big reds that you're seeing will break you off. Now these are LYs right here, greenies. They make great bait. Those are sand perch. And I actually use one of these guys for bait here in a bit. This is me dropping out a little deeper and look again. <laughs> look at all these redfish. And those are not small guys. Those are big bulls, which makes it even tougher to pull them out of these pylons. When I was out there and I saw the water like this, I was like, you know, I have to do a GoPro drop video because I might never see the water this clear again. Lots of little bait fish, little grunts and pinfish and stuff like that. We see some really cool stuff here in a second. We actually see one of these redfish try to eat a spade fish. It's wild. This is me dropping down a little bit deeper once again. Sorry for the shakiness. It's just everywhere I drop. It's just covered with fish right now. It's so amazing.
And check this out. I didn't see any redfish. But watch what happens. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Let's watch that again. Those spade fish are just chilling. And this guy comes out of nowhere. So cool. <sighs> Now here's something that is super unique. Check this out. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you this fish that comes into frame right here. Look at this guy right there. That is a big keeper sized trigger fish right there. And I have never seen one of those at the pier. I didn't even know trigger fish came in this close, but apparently they do. And this was in the shallow end of the pier too, which is really, really cool. course just tons more spade fish every single pylon that I would drop on was covered with redfish and spade fish which would make you think that it would be super easy to go out there and catch these redfish but it's not as easy as you think and I'm going to explain why uh, those are big redfish that hang very close to the pilings and the water is super clear so you have to use heavy enough tackle to pull them out of the piling so they don't break you off. But when you use heavy tackle, you may not get the bites. And so it's uh, really tough to catch these guys when the water's this clear. But I do attempt it here in a minute. Big sheep's head. Look at those guys. And it's just so cool. I could sit here and watch these this live underwater footage all day. Look at the ballyhoo swim by. There's just all kind of different fish. I mean, this is wild. And a lot of you guys ask me on these videos, how do you turn the GoPro? I don't, I'm not controlling the GoPro. Uh, I'm just letting it do its thing and hope for the best really. And fortunately, uh, I've been able to get some really cool shots. Big sheep's head. Those are full grown ones. Now here in a second, I take it to super shallow water and uh, we see a bunch of whiting. Check this out. Now this is like right in the surf, okay? And I wanted to see if there was anything in the surf and that was loaded with whiting. And there was actually somebody fishing for whiting right near uh, where I was filming. And I actually capture the hook up here, or the whiting hooked up uh, here in a second. For some reason though, my GoPro went into narrow frame when I did this, and so it uh, doesn't look quite as good. I don't know what happened. There was a lot of whiting. Look, there's the hooked up whiting right there. Check that out. This is back out a little bit deeper. All there were were whiting up close. Whiting are great to eat. So if you are coming down to the pier and just want some fish to put in the cooler, then get you some little pieces of cut shrimp and you can catch those whiting pretty easily. I am gonna drop on the end of the pier here in a minute. And uh, the end of the pier was not quite as clear, but there were still plenty of fish out on the end of the pier as you will see. Just a, a, an incredible amount of fish around these pilings.
I mean, this right here almost looks like I'm filming in an aquarium. It is amazing. Now, this is the end of the pier. A little bit darker water, but there was a lot of uh, fish out there. Look at all these cigar minnows. Great baits. And then there's some uh, jacks, little jacks. I believe those are horse eye jacks. Some mangrove snappers. Look at those mangroves. There's a little file fish. Just lots of little fish out there. But this was really cool. I had no idea these uh, came in this close. And I didn't know we even had them in our area. But that is a mutton snapper. And there's multiple mutton snappers down there, it looks like. Which is really cool. I had no idea we had them in this area. I wish I would have been in wide frame so I could see better with this narrow frame. I didn't capture the footage as good, but that is okay. Spot number three is insane. This is Okaloosa Island Fishing Pier. I want you to check this out. This is pretty incredible. So we're gonna start this GoPro adventure off by dropping in the shallows. And the first thing we see is this giant tail. Would you look at that? that is crazy. We're going to have to uh, see if we can find out who the culprit is. That was uh, massive. As you can see, the normal lots of bait fish down there. And this ends up being one of the craziest GoPro drops that I personally have ever done. Look in the background right there. That is massive. That is a tiger shark. You can barely see him. And this is nothing compared to what happens later. Look at that. Beautiful tiger shark. And this pier, when I say this pier was covered with tiger sharks, they were absolutely everywhere. Another tiger. It's hard to even notice the other fish with all these giant tiger sharks around. Look at that guy right there. Shortly, we get what I consider the best shot of a, of a shark I've ever gotten. It's pretty wild. And this isn't it, but that's a pretty incredible shot right there. Now we're dropping off the end of the pier. And as you can see, right when we get down there, there's some jacks, uh, some mangrove snappers. Lots of uh, little fish down there that would be cool to uh, just catch on a day when not much is biting, which I do after uh, the GoPro drop is over. And look at all the bait fish. That is insane. Those are a mixture of LYs and cigar minnows, bar jacks, pinfish. Now we're going to drop down to the bottom, and this is when it really gets crazy. To say this pier is teeming with marine life is an understatement. Look coming right here at my GoPro. And just look, check out the size of this guy right here. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty incredible. And it even gets better, okay?
There was just endless amounts of giant sharks. Oh, <laughs> he runs into my GoPro. <laughs> that was crazy. We got to see that again. He did not care. He was like, get out of my way. <laughs> that fish is kind of funny. Back off the very end of the pier here, and this is actually really cool what we see. I don't drop it all the way to the bottom. I drop it about five to ten feet under the surface and check this out. Those are juvenile cobias. So cool. And they look just like Remora, but those are in fact juvenile cobias. We do see lots of Remora on this video. And just endless amounts of bait fish. It's amazing just to see how many different species you have in one frame. Pinfish, jack, bar jacks, cobia, cigar minnows, remora. I mean, it's just crazy. Pinfish. I think here in a second we drop it back down to the bottom and it is gets pretty wild. Yeah, this is once again off the end of the pier. Look at that pit girl. I don't know if you notice that to the right. That is a nurse shark just laying on the bottom. Oh. That was crazy out of nowhere. He comes and just bumps the GoPro. That was so cool. There's a better shot of that nurse shark right there on the bottom. He's just chilling.
So now what we're going to do is take a light tackle rod and just try to catch some of the species of fish that we've been seeing. It's obvious that this pier just has tons of marine life. Spot number four is an oil rig. We were out fishing. I was like, I want to see what's under the boat. We captured some pretty cool footage. All right, folks, the first fish that we noticed right here are Almaco Jacks swimming right below the boat. There's no limit on Almaco Jacks. They're great to eat. We did catch quite a few that day, so they're, they're a great fish to uh, catch when you see them below the boat like that. You can see down deep right there, there's a big gray snapper swimming by. We did catch quite a few of those in this video. Now these fish right here, I have no idea what those are. They're kind of swimming with the Almaco Jacks. If anybody knows, let me know. Comment down below. Now here comes a big old barracuda into frame right there and we're going to get some good footage of him in a second. Look at that guy. And folks, we were, uh, we're about 30 miles offshore off the coast of Alabama and there's a lot of these oil platforms out there and they all obviously there's a lot of life swimming around them. Another big gray snappers right there. Look at the size of those guys. People call these, a there's, there's a bunch of different names for them, all right? People call the little ones that they catch mangrove snappers. Some people call them black snappers. The actual name for them is gray snappers. Those are really, really nice ones. I'm going to show you a, a little video clip here of a couple of the ones that we caught. It may have been those two <laughs> swimming around right there. Another barracuda right there. Lots of bait. We, we changed locations here, and this rig right here was covered with those big snappers. And those are one of my favorite fish to catch on oil rigs because they come up real high. You can chum them up right underneath your boat. They're delicious to eat. They fight really, really hard. And those are big ones, so you can get a lot of meat off those guys. Another big old barracuda coming into frame right there. And look at all the Almaco jacks right behind them.
And then in just a second, I dropped the GoPro off the back of the boat, kind of away from the rig, and check out what I saw right here. And what is interesting about this shark right here is he has half of his tail missing. Look at that. There's a bunch of spade fish. Now these fish right here I think are super underrated. You, there's no size limit on them. They taste phenomenal. They fight really, really hard. And they're difficult to catch. Uh, they really are because they're tough to get to bite. You gotta use little pieces of shrimp, light line, small hook. And there were just acres of these spade fish underneath the boat. And those are big ones. <laughs> you get a you get some nice fillets off those guys right there. Good size spade fish. Now, these, the giant snappers were hanging closer to the rig, and we never could get those to bite. I, I take that back. We got one to bite, and he immediately took us to the wreck, so we did not get them up, but uh, they, they were smart. We, we caught some really good ones, but we never got any of the giants. And those right there, check out those. Those are sergeant majors. I just learned those striped fish. I just learned about those. I did a uh, last video I posted asking what those fish were, and somebody said sergeant majors, and I looked them up. Sure enough, so learned something new. And who knows what's down deeper? I didn't get to drop my GoPro down deeper. Uh, this is just really, you know, only about 20 foot below the surface. It's cool just watching how these fish react underwater though. And those are actually cigar minnows which, and hardtails, both great bait fish. You can see big snapper off in the distance. Another big old barracuda. And that fish right there that I don't know what it is, somebody comment below. <laughs> And last but not least, we are back at Okaloosa Island Fishing Pier another time. And it is just as crazy. All right, folks, so I'm gonna go over some of these species with you 
because I like to know what is down there when I'm fishing up here. And as you can see right now, we have a mixture of cobia and remora. Those are all cobia right there. And you can tell the difference between a cobia and a remora because a remora is going to have the sucker on top of his head and a cobia is not. That is a cobia right there. And those are remoras. And there's a lot of other stuff swimming by too, like pinfish. That's a pinfish. And those are some hardtails mixed in with those remoras and cobia. And look at all the spade fish. Those are a really cool fish. They fight hard, they're good to eat. Usually can catch them on little pieces of peeled shrimp with a tiny hook. And look at all those cobia, man. Wow. That is so cool. And this is off the very end of the pier at Okaloosa Island Pier. Look at all the bait. Now that's all LY, and that is what we use for bait when we're out there fishing. We usually catch those LY because they're very plentiful on that pier. Guys, I want to pause the video for you right here and show you that. If you look right to the left of that pier pylon is a nurse shark, and he's just kind of chilling right there on the bottom. You'll get some better footage of him later. We're going to walk down to the bar now and see if we can capture some of the stuff in the shallow water. We're going to drop it over right here in the shallows. Let's pause it for just a second, folks. This is the craziest shot of the day right here. Not only do we get somebody's fishing rod that looks to be in really good shape, but in the same frame as the fishing rod, we get a tiger shark. Look at that. And there's the tiger shark again. That is so cool.
Oh, look, If in the right-hand side of the screen, right there, you could see a little piece of a sea turtle. And there he is again. That's actually a pretty good-sized sea turtle. Look, look at that sea turtle right there and look how many bait fish are surrounded around him. That is so cool. And those right there are ladyfish. This was actually filmed about 10 feet from shore, right on the beach. Folks, if you like the GoPro drop videos, please shoot me a big thumbs up and follow for more.